Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to this uh, presentation uh, uh, for uh, female leadership in supply chain within Gerbe company, especially. So I will let you, uh, Andrea, to present yourself and then uh, I will present myself. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Andrea Petrišelková. I am working in Gerbe company for six years. Uh, I joined uh, Gerbe as a regional planning manager, and after two years, I moved to uh, MAR, management planning and export customer service role. And since last year, I am also taking care about external supply activities uh, and cooperating uh, with uh, Karim in the logistic department. Thank you, Andrea. And for myself, my name is Karim Mungla. I'm a, a regional distribution uh, and logistic manager uh, working for uh, Europe, Middle East, Africa region. Uh, and uh, before joining Gerbi, I was also working for several pharma company. My background, I'm pharmacist, and my experience is mainly in manufacturing and also a distribution, uh, uh, pharmaceutical distribution uh, in Europe and the Middle East also. Um, before moving forward with uh, with the discussion that we will have with Andrea, uh, I will present you Gerbi in few words. Uh, Gerbi, we are um, at Gerbi. We are building a lasting relationship uh, so that we enable people to live better. This is something very important, and we call it raison d'être uh, for, for Gerbi. Um, we are a pharmaceutical company, uh, and we offer a large range of uh, product and solution. Uh, in imaging products, solution and services to our uh, uh, radiologists. Uh, and this is for diagnostic uh, imaging and also for interventional imaging. Uh, and this is all to enhance uh, a click and decision uh, making at each uh, point of the patient journey uh, from diagnostic, uh, within the treatment and also for the follow-up. Uh, in order to uh, efficiency improve at the end uh, the uh, patient uh, outcomes. Um, we are also providing a comprehensive offer to our customers, uh, uh, providing a portfolio of interconnected solution with product and also medical device. We are providing solution for imaging guided procedure, which is something very uh, uh, new and also which, uh, uh, which uh, progressively replace uh, or complement a surgical uh, uh, acts. Um, we are also... Um, uh, as well, providing a new solution uh, using uh, um, a tremendous uh, power of data bringing, because we are we have also department for uh, 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 data analysis to bring a new type of digital solution to help customers uh, and practitioners uh, for diagnostic. Um, working for Gerbi is uh, is uh, is uh, uh, working for global specialists on on contrast uh, agent. Um, and solution for diagnostic and interventional imaging. Uh, we are helping to improve patient, and this is something uh, that motivates everybody in the company working for this company, and uh, to, uh, for sure, improve quality and life for our patient. We are more than 2,600 uh, committed colleagues. Uh, each one is focusing on the highest level of quality uh, and order also to deliver a meaningful benefits to physician and also uh, to patient. Uh, our really values that uh, drive every action within the company is innovate. So we are promoting new ideas to improve Gerbe processes and Gerbe performance. We are also uh, uh, corporate value, which is a collaboration for us is very important within internal and also with our partners. We are also uh, uh, taking care uh, uh, because respect Gerby stakeholder is something very important for us and also respect of our, our collaborators. And uh, we are also promoting Achieve uh, as a value for us because doing the best until reaching the goal is something very important for everybody uh, within the, uh, the, the, the company. So this is Gerby in few words. And for sure, uh, I already shared the link of uh, the company here, uh, the website link. Uh, for Gerbe, if you uh, you uh, will really invite you to go there and to see uh, uh, what we are doing, our product, and also a lot of stuff and uh, history about uh, Gerbe company. Now, uh, let's uh, come back to our uh, uh, discussion with uh, with Andrea today. Um, Andrea, to, to start the discussion, maybe uh, may I ask you to share today with us uh, your a really uh, uh, inspiring career path. Uh, thank you, Karim, uh, for giving me this opportunity and also to all of you joining us for today's discussion. Uh, I started my career already during my studies. 
I decided that I want to learn not only like theory from the school or from the university, but I wanted to gain some like a practical experiences and combine what I learned during the studies at the practical way. So I was uh, looking what was the market offering to me. And then I got opportunity to join uh, one IT company who was uh, building and selling uh, computers. But I joined uh, finance team. So I started to my career in finance department and combination of uh, the gained IT skills, because of course I was interested in all the uh, innovations in, in computer during my studies. Everybody is interested in some new features, new, new tools and also new appliances. But uh, of course, uh, the finance skills gave me a lot of, of my background from which I'm still gaining. Uh, I get more understanding about the numbers, about the uh, preciseness of the work and accuracy. And this was really the base for all my future careers uh, because I was taking care about really uh, what I'm doing. It's, uh, it was important job and important role for the company. And I felt that I cannot fail. I, I really need to um, learn a lot. And then I, it was also, uh, I would say, uh, something what, what was uh, giving me a lot of for my uh, final thesis and for my uh, understanding of the subject in the school. Uh, but after graduation at university, uh, meantime, I can mention that I was studying uh, logistic, uh, logistic university, and my subject uh, of studies was um, management and econ economy in transportation. So I was looking what I can do. I learned a lot of experiences in finance department. So I also started my career in finance department. But after two years in one German company, I got opportunity from supply chain team to build and develop a demand planning team for the company, which was, I would say, one of the greatest experiences and also opportunities I, I received because it's really like a built my career path. Uh, and from, the, from this uh, like a point, all my career in supply chain has started. And it was like uh, really the path. Uh, I started uh, as a demand planner, then built a team of uh, demand planners and managing uh, demand planning team. And then after five years, I got opportunity to move to another company, which I really take, take for it. Uh, I was thinking, okay, I'm still young. Uh, I have five years experiences in demand planning and I want to learn new. I want to meet new people, learn from them, experience new, uh, new uh, environment, business environment, and uh, learn something new. So I was moving to another company and I joined as a demand and uh, supply planning team, uh, taking care about uh, three countries uh, in uh, central region, in central Europe. And uh, uh, I learned uh, new skills from supply planning, learn more about statistical planning, uh, accuracy, uh, learn how to work with the numbers, how to read the data. And also uh, I started to like again some management skills and uh, uh, I would say evolve to, to grow. And by all these learnings, uh, I can build myself. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, my career started really, uh, far away in IT company. However, what I would like also to say is that even if your career or your thoughts for the like a starting point are different, that at the end, you need to stay open-minded and uh, look what are the other opportunities all around you. And don't be, for example, um, don't give up any solution, any, any opportunity, go for it. Good, good. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a good transition because uh, I want to know how was your first experience within the pharma company? Yeah. Uh, my first experience with pharma company was eight years ago. Uh, I was working already five years at uh, my second uh, employment and I was looking again uh, that after five years, I'm not learning anything new. And I also, I would say, did everything what I could do at that role. And I received an uh, offer from uh, one of my, not friends, but some like a people who I know uh, to join one uh, pharma company. Uh, it was animal health care company, taking care about uh, production of um, 
uh, medicine for the animals. And uh, I firstly, I was like hesitating if I am really like a, interested in this uh, area. Pharma business is something different than what I was doing before. But then I was saying to myself, yes, this is the company who is like uh, saving the lives, saving the lives of the animals, helping them to survive, to deal with the diseases. And I was uh, really looking for this role because you can do something what is really important for the life. Even if it is not for human, but animals are something what we, what I would say majority of us has at home and we are taking care about them, how, what is their life. And uh, it was a very good decision, I would say. It changed a lot, it changed a lot of my life and how I'm looking of my friends, of my um, pets when I have at home. And uh, it was a really excellent opportunity. Pharma business is very important for all of us, for our lives, our uh, animal lives. So it was one of the greatest decisions in my life. Good. Uh, and looking to your career path, which is excellent. Uh, congratulations for that. Mm -hmm. You work for finance, you work supply chain, distribution, background, technical background. What is What, what are the, um, the key learning from these several experiences uh, from your side on the way? Be responsible. I would say that one of the key learning is be responsible, be able to take decision and uh, still remain self-motivated, uh, effective. And uh, what I also learned is how to learn fast, uh, be fast learning from all what I'm doing. And even if, uh, for example, I make uh, um, bad decision, not bad decision, but some of the decision can be wrong uh, or can be different at the end, learn from them. Gain it as an opportunity, not taking as a mistake. Uh, learn from these mistakes. And this is something what we, everybody uh, needs to uh, deal with it uh, and uh, really learn from the mistakes. So this is also what, what is one of the key learnings, how to take the mistakes as an opportunities. Uh, how to take advantage from, mm -hmm. from, uh, yep. from situations at the end. Yep. Uh, and. Uh, to, to our topics, uh, how uh, are you evolving as a firm leader within, you know, internal supply chain uh, world, uh, within an international company as Gerby? Mm -hmm. uh, I like this environment. I like uh, to work in, uh, in the organization when I'm working in supply chain. Uh, I don't feel that uh, there were uh, any time any judgments that uh, I'm woman or it's uh, like a man world. I would say that the world has significantly changed since uh, last years and it's still being changed. And I like to work in diverse environment. Uh, every person is different, has different personality and we can learn from each other. Uh, every person has different emotions, reacts in different way. And uh, I'm taking this as a benefit to learn from, from my colleagues, from myself, uh, from uh, any of the environment. and. Really, this kind of like an international diverse team is something what is uh, very, very interesting and uh, giving a lot of opportunities for growing. Good, good, good. And uh, what do we think about the uh, global position of supply chain uh, or a uh, woman within the supply chain world? Mm -hmm. Yeah, supply chain is uh, being more and more agile. Uh, and uh, by these improvements uh, in innovation, is uh, like a giving a diverse set of perspective. So we can take all these uh, like a female uh, female aspects uh, as a lot of uh, also like a competitive uh, uh, situations, uh, which are uh, helping for women to be uh, successful in the roles. And supply chain is now more and more uh, supporting women uh, in the roles and uh, we can really persuade everybody that we are uh, we have very good skills to be competitive in any environment not only supply chain but at any environment and uh, I'm really uh, very pleased to be part of Gerba supply chain it's it's a very nice uh, role and um, I'm still learning every day and new things and uh, even if I'm a woman or uh, I have a men colleagues, we are learning from each other. For sure, for sure. Can you, can you maybe uh, share some um, uh, uh, example of uh, 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 the activities that you are doing within your, uh, your, your current position and uh, uh, mm -hmm. 
position within Gerbi supply chain activities? Um, my current role is split into, I would say, two parts. Uh, one part is uh, replenishment planning team, and we are taking care of the distribution of the main, mainly uh, finished products from our uh, regional distribution centers to local distribution centers. We are in contact with our uh, colleagues in the affiliates, and our role is, or my, my team role, my and my team roles is to deliver uh, the products as soon as possible. Uh, to the country uh, to avoid of any shortages for our uh, end customers for the hospitals and uh, helping them to uh, be competitive in the markets uh, without any possible risks. Uh, second part of my role uh, is currently staying with uh, subcontracting activities with our external partners who are producing our products and I'm helping to the team to uh, manage the proper production plans and uh, communicating with our partners to produce uh, our products on time in full and then to be able to supply our customers and customers in the distributor markets or to the affiliates. Yeah. So this is very key role, uh, but I'm very, very glad for this opportunity. It's a nice role, very yeah. challenging role, of course, okay. uh, but uh, uh, I have a very good team and I'm proud of it. Yeah. Uh, to, to be clear with everybody, with the participants, uh, we prepare kind of list, but I'm going outside this uh, this list of <laughs> questions, so uh, we are completely transparent. Uh, Andrea, we know uh, in supply chain how it's important uh, information system within IT system within supply chain. And uh, talking to you as a woman, did you face any uh, challenging situation doing uh, information system within supply chain uh, in the past or? or, or <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, uh, in, in this aspect, yes, I was facing like a very uh, strange situation that when I was uh, persuading my colleagues uh, that I know one of the system for many, many years and I have quite good experiences, uh, it was not well acknowledged at the beginning. Uh, however, after several weeks working with the team on the uh, development of the system and implementation, I would say that I persuaded them that I have this background and skills to be part of the team. And uh, at the end, uh, I was helping them to uh, develop develop the solution for the company. And uh, at the end, they really acknowledged that I am really like a valuable team member of the project and helping them to define the processes uh, on in the right way. So yes, I will, in this case, yes. And I think that it was uh, one of the, like a uh, time when I was facing some kind of like a judgment that I'm woman, but not in supply chain. Yeah. I have never faced it in supply chain. Yeah. Uh, and uh, back to uh, as information system, if you, you want to, if you can say two words about the importance of uh, information system for our world. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think uh, what is uh, very important is the access to the data and their accuracy. Uh, to And uh, at the end, to read the data correctly. Even if you have the access to the data, you need to be able to read them and to understand what the data displays and what the data shows. And this is uh, at every system. Uh, even if uh, the system can display something, you need to be able to distinguish if you are reading, uh, what you are reading is correct and is, uh, is something what you want to get. So systems are very important for us, even if it is our internal uh, enterprise systems like uh, internal ERP for our accounting department or for our supply chain or any other uh, IT system for manufacturing sites or for some uh, like a production sites. Uh, the system uh, is very key to give the preciseness of the information and give the end-to-end -end information about the behavior of the company. Yes, sure. Thank you. Thank you, Andrea, for sharing all this information. Um, back to uh, uh, your uh, background and uh, your experiences within supply chain and also uh, with IT, with finance, it's a really large experience. Um, do you have still time to do uh, other activities than supply chain? <laughs> yes, of course. Thank you for asking. Uh, even if the professional life is challenging, sometimes it's taking too much time, but I'm still able to spend time with my family and also with my hobbies. 
I'm uh, not active only at uh, the professional life, but also outside in my private life. I like challenges in uh, sport. I um, I like running uh, and fitness. Uh, but uh, considering the current situation with uh, <laughs> COVID uh, environment, uh, fitness centers are closed in Czech Republic where I am living. So I'm spending time, almost all my time, uh, outside at uh, uh, like external um, activities by running and doing some external exercises. And this is also making me motivated. Uh, when I am full of endorphins, I'm still able to deal uh, with the daily task and uh, uh, come to some new ideas, what we can do better, how we can do some some processes in different way and improve them. So it's some, sometimes it helped me to clean my mind uh, by doing the sports. So sport is very important, right? Yes, it's yeah. for me. For me now, especially now, yes, yes, it's very yeah. important. Uh, Andrea, if um, if you come back 20 years ago and uh, uh, or maybe less, uh, what advice should I give to myself when uh, I was 20? Mm, nice question. Be honest. Be honest to yourself. It's very important uh, to understand what is your skills, where you are, what you want to do, but also to be open. Be open for incoming opportunities and gain from them. Do not close the doors uh, which are being opened in front of you, but go, go for the opportunities. Yeah, this is uh, something very important for our uh, studying uh, here because it's important to uh, to be open, yeah, right? Uh, and do not uh, stop on the first step of uh, reading any... Uh, and don't give up, don't give don't up. give up, very important, yeah. And if you can uh, share with our uh, student here uh, uh, any advice about uh, one book that they should read, uh, one of the last books uh, which I read, uh, I received it uh, last year from my colleagues and it was Seven Habits of uh, Highly Effective People. It's, uh, I take it with me because I expected this question. It's a very nice book. I can write it to the chat. And uh, this kind of uh, book or a similar type of books are uh, giving some like advices. Of course, not everything can be applicable for everybody, but uh, everybody can find himself or herself there and look uh, how to see different uh, uh, or how to see the things from different angles, how to do the things different way, how to search for some improvements and uh, understand them. Yeah, okay. thank you. Uh, thank you, Andrea, for this. Uh... A good. Uh, I have it also, and I can confirm that uh, it's very, very good uh, and nice book uh, to read uh, uh, before joining uh, the company. Okay, so um, now maybe we can open the session to uh, to question to our uh, student. Um, you can use the chat uh, on on the website and uh, send your question, even if in French or in English, and we can uh, with Andrea uh, and help uh, with the, with answers. Uh, can you sum up uh, the most important skill required to work in supply chain? Um, maybe I can start. Uh, so for me, it's uh, being precise, accurate, uh, timely, timely manner, and uh, also uh, uh, be uh, um, dedicated to the uh, dedicated to the numbers. It's very important to be precise. Completely okay with that. For sure, supply chain, it's about data and numbers. And uh, uh, also, uh, what I can add is, uh, supply chain is about coordination. We are uh, at the middle between uh, several uh, several services, finance, uh, commercial, uh, or manufacturing operations. So uh, uh, the first skill is being able to talk with everybody and to work with everybody. Collaboration is key to uh, being able to collaborate, uh, being uh, able to work on, uh, on a team as a team, uh, and uh, and uh, have a result as a team is very very important skill uh, yes. from a behavior standpoint. Yeah. Yep. But very very good question. Yeah. Any other questions? Don't hesitate to ask. Yes. We are here for you. <laughs> Thank you, Fatma, for the question. Yeah. Very nice.
from a skills also standpoint uh, for, for students uh, yeah excel is very important because we are for sure using mm -hmm. it it's, it's really concrete and for sure when we have this uh, facilities with excel it can help you for the first uh, uh, first job position within supply chain yeah of course no. in current environment it skills are being more and more demanding and uh, required uh, by all the employees and employees yeah Thank you for answering. I was thinking about optimization. Is, is it also optimal? used? Uh, yeah, also a very nice question. Uh, supply chain is um, mainly about optimization, how to uh, look for another solution, how to opti optimize our processes. And this is the way where we are going in Gerbe. We are really looking how to optimize our organization logistic uh, footprint and optimi optimize the uh, the solution to deliver our products to the end customer as soon as possible, uh, bypassing, for example, some regional distribution centers, but be more uh, effective in our supplies. So yeah. supply chain is very good, very neat, and requires a lot of optimization, of course. In the future. Yeah, and also being open for uh, for for uh, yeah. evolution and change, and this is very very important because. Uh, we we have to 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 optimize we have the tools we can have a lean tools and several uh, let's say technical tools but what is also very important is behavior be open to to change to uh, challenge our own process we can build the process for one year or through, uh, several months and then challenge the same process that you built several months ago and say okay now i can improve it how i can do it differently and having this behavior of changing stuff is very very important and very key for uh, the knowledge of macro and VBA is needed as well as a level advanced of Excel. Yes, yes, uh, this is uh, for sure important. Uh, having a good level of Excel can be very helpful for the first position. Could you please write the title of the book? Yes. Thank you, Andrea. It's already done. Mm, uh, for engineers in supply chain, yeah, the link, the link feels uh, we can find the post available of engineers in supply chain. Uh, maybe I'm not. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, in, in, we we can find all the uh, uh, on the link of the company. We have for sure the open position, and you can Positions. find mm -hmm. the position. We can find uh, as well position for engineers and uh, for supply chain. Yeah. And we are looking for several also location. And Gerbe is very open for uh, mobility. So even if uh, the position is open in different region, uh, we are supporting our employees and team members to go for op all opportunities and to grow, to develop uh, the, the, their skills by doing different role in different regions. And this is also very key for Gerbe to support all employees to grow. Any other question? Any about suppression, about female in suppression as well? Thank you, Margot. Thank you, Dante. Yeah, thank you. Do not hesitate. <laughs> You'll have time for question. It's about supply chain, but about women in Gerbe in general. I have a question exactly about supply chain, but about women in Gerbe in general. Yes, very good question. So, uh, Andrea, what do you think? <laughs> for me, uh, it's both. It's a combination. Uh, the Gerbe itself as a company is supporting diverse uh, roles and diverse diversity, I would say at all. But uh, we are here to promote and to discuss about female role in supply chain, but I am uh, really very glad that I can represent Gerbe uh, as a, a manager of working in supply chain and uh, cooperating together with uh, Karim in uh, in the logistic department. And uh, if uh, 
I can just summarize it. Uh, supply chain is really uh, open for all type of uh, genders of, uh, of uh, women in uh, in this kind of like a business uh, or environment and uh, giving uh, opportunities to the women because women can bring a different type of uh, thinking, a different type of ideas, how to look differently on the, in this, uh, into the situations which are uh, appearing uh, and they are coming and can give uh, different type of ideas. Women are in many time uh, taking care more about uh, some like uh, products, about some flows. They are very precise and uh, uh, very, uh, uh, very, how to say, very, uh, or they are going straight to the point. So they are not playing too much uh, game all around the world, but really going straight to the point. And this is very, uh, important in supply chain to be precise, accurate, support, and also mm, bring a team spirit uh, and cooperate as a team and trying to uh, deliver our products to some like a final destination uh, in the best way. Uh, looking, uh, women are also looking for several opportunities. They are not uh, uh, thinking inside the box, but also looking for solution out of the box, which is very important in supply chain. Yeah, yeah, it's really, uh, Gerbe is, uh, big, uh, diversity within Gerbe is very important and it's not something new, it's, it was always like that within supply chain and also outside supply chain. Uh, it is something very important and this is why we, uh, we also call this uh, uh, meet as a female leadership within supply chain and Andrea is really a, a leader uh, in supply chain, uh, uh, a leader manager within supply chain and uh, uh, as Andrea state uh, today for us, this, this diversity is very important because we are convinced that uh, diversity is key of success uh, for, for, for the company. Thank you, Fatma. Any other uh, question? Any information that you need from uh, people coming from a professional world? Mm -hmm. So, okay, maybe um, it, uh, yeah. uh, we have a new one. Good. I would also like Is to it? know about R&D in Gerby. Yeah. Uh, you want to answer, Andrea, or? Um, if you can take this yeah. uh, question, yeah, maybe. Yeah. No. Yes, for, for, for us, Gerby is, um, is really uh, paying a lot of uh, attention to R&D and we are doing it as a French company, based French company. We are international company, but based, we are doing a lot of R&D and it's this R&D is, it's made here in France. Uh, we have our chemical uh, manufacturing uh, uh, site in, in Europe. We have two in France and one in Dublin, in Ireland. And uh, we are doing a uh, uh, lot of uh, uh, research and development in uh, chemical uh, molecules, but also in, uh, in, uh, uh, in new uh, areas like uh, artificial intelligence, uh, doing partnership with, uh, with several uh, important company uh, and providing a new solution using data uh, around our areas to uh, to find a new solution to help again always uh, a patient life and to do uh, to to make it better. So for sure, uh, all our R and D is based here in France. So we have a lot of also a position and also a lot of uh, 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 opportunities within R and D teams uh, uh, in France uh, and also abroad. Uh, so for sure, uh, Gerbe. Uh, uh, we have a lot of uh, R&D uh, opportunities in Germany. Mm -hmm. It's not only pharma oriented. It's also it's uh, pharma. It's uh, we are developing new molecules, new uh, 
new drugs, but also new medical devices, uh, which is also something that uh, maybe we are uh, unique doing that. This is why I was saying that we are providing a solution because we are providing contrast media, medical device, but also some uh, IT solution or let's say uh, ER solution to uh, help uh, uh, radiologists on diagnostic and at the end to help patient. So we have really these three areas where we are doing uh, R&D uh, in France. Yes, yeah. 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 processing and data processing. So uh, uh, we have really a, a specific uh, business unit uh, with R&D, uh, specific R&D teams doing this uh, uh, data analysis and image uh, processing and to improve. And we have already some uh, uh, product or solution on the market um, providing this uh, solution uh, to our uh, radiologists. You are welcome. Thank you. Good. So, um, thank you for your time. Thank you, Andrea, for uh, presenting your. Uh, your slide. Thank you, Karim, for this opportunity, and thank you all for participating uh, at this conference. It was a really very good opportunity for me to uh, share some experiences as a female or woman uh, in supply chain and uh, as I said earlier uh, be open-minded and look for the solutions and supply chain is uh, one of the key uh, key department in the company helping uh, the uh, companies to deliver the products uh, cooperating with uh, all other uh, departments and helping uh, to end customers with uh, their products and their needs. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you to all for participating and to your all valuable question. It was really interesting to uh, share this time with you. Uh, and we are waiting uh, your visit to our website. And also, uh, if you are looking to opportunities, do not hesitate to see all the opportunities that Gerby is, is providing uh, on all the area that we are discussed. And uh, maybe, yeah, we will meet you soon uh, within, uh, within us. We will be looking forward to you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you all. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have All a good right. day. Have a good day. Bye.